What's up, y'all? Chris, here to give some quick predictions for this UFC fight night, UFC on Fox Sports 1 debut, whatever the card's called, headlined by Shogun versus Sonnen, Chael Sonnen, that is. Um, Dana White said way back before this card was announced that it would be the best ever card, MMA card, on free TV. Bit of a lofty statement, considering it hadn't been made yet. Uh, top to bottom, you could say maybe, I mean, the whole card's obviously not going to be on Fox Sports. A couple fights on Facebook, but top to bottom, it is a pretty damn good card, you know. I wish I could get boxing cards like this this stacked. Uh, but considering the main event and some of the past cards they've had on UFC on Fox, unless it just really is a, turns out to be a lot of great fights, it's going to be hard to live up to those expectations, or those claims, I should say. That said, too many fights for me to break down. Way too many fights that I'm interested in. Uh, Conor McGregor, Max Holloway. Conor McGregor's got a lot of hype behind him. Um, was supposed to fight Andy Ogle, who he would have probably smashed. Holloway's a bit tougher an opponent, but I expect him to win. But hopefully for him, he wins spectacularly because he does have a lot of hype behind him. And the UFC is trying to push this guy, um, especially by putting him on this card. So looking forward to see how that fight goes. Michael McDonald, Brad Pickett. That's a good fight. I favor McDonald, but this could be a... Uh, Really good fight. You know, Michael McDonald come off that title loss. And Pickett's always game. Joe Lozon, Michael Johnson. Joe Lozon, he uh, looked really good last time. He fought Boston. He absolutely whooped Gabe Rudiker. I don't know if he's going to look as great here, but I see him beating Michael uh, Johnson. Uriah Hall, John Howard. He, Uriah Hall needs a rebound from that loss to Kelvin Gastelum at the Ultimate Fighter finale. He had a, speaking of hype, he had a ton of hype going in that fight, and he kind of just fell flat. Props to Kevin Gastelum, though. Um, go to Uriah Hall by decision. Mike Powell, Matt Brown. Matt Brown has been on a run late. I mean, Mike Powell's won like three or four in a row as well, but Matt Brown has just been breaking fools down and smashing them. I think he does the same here. Matt Brown by late round stoppage. Uriah Faber, Yuri Al Alcantara. It's funny. Uh, a lot of people getting behind Yuri Alcantara on this fight. Not sure why. Um, I favor Uriah. You know, I um, think he gets him down. As long as he gets him down. This fight can stay sp uh, standing for some reason. Um, Uriah might lose. But I think you're right. Get this fight to the ground. Do some ground and pound. Lock on a guillotine choke and win by submission. So, California kid for the win. co main event of the night. Alistair Overeem, Travis Brown. Big stakes, literally and figuratively in this fight. Uh, Alistair Overeem, man, he's got to get redemption. <laughs> got smashed by Antonio Bigfoot Silva after talking all that shit. Got knocked out. Um, if he loses this fight, he can get cut. Travis Brown, he's also got the loss to Bigfoot, but... Bounce back and got that win over Gonzaga, even though it's a bit controversial. I favor Overeem. Both guys prefer to stand and trade. I don't know if Browning can even get a Overeem down to the ground. But uh, this day standing, Alistair Overeem should be able to knock out Travis Brown, maybe. Travis Brown doesn't have like a bad chin or anything, but Overeem is the better striker, at least on paper. Brown's a lot more elusive, though, more fleet of feet. Maybe if he decides to move around, try to jab, work from distance, might have some success, but I think Overeem could chop him down and knock him out. Main event of the night, already mentioned it briefly. Chael Sonnen taking on Mauricio Shogun Hua. Uh, both guys coming off losses where they didn't look so good. Sonnen to John Jones and Shogun to Alexander Gustafsson. Um, hard fight to call, not because of necessarily the competitive level or nature of it, the matchup, but because you don't know what the hell Shogun has left. I mean, this guy was the best light heavyweight in the world back in his pride, you know, run for a little while when he won that light heavyweight tournament, or middleweight tournament it was over there. But, man, he has taken some beatings. He's been in some wars. Uh, a lot of mileage on the odometer, even at a relatively young age still. And he's never really had a good takedown defense. Chael Sonnen could take him down probably. Um, man, I don't want to see that fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if Chael takes him down for five rounds, just grounds him. Standing Shogun should have the edge. Shogun's got some slick ground game. He hasn't really submitted a lot of guys, but he's always had a pretty good or underrated jiu-jitsu game. However, he's just so slow nowadays. Um, I don't even know if he's going to be able to catch Chael in anything. Although Chael doesn't have the best track record against Brazilians, so maybe he can. Maybe Brazilians are his kryptonite. We shall see. Uh, I favor Chael Sonnen by decision, but I'd like to see Shogun get a knockout. Just get one last like really good Shogun moment. I mean, he did look good in the Henderson fight. Not good, but it was a hell of a fight. Same with Brandon Vera, but if he loses this fight... Um, I don't know. It's hard to know what Shogun has left, if anything. Although, given the style match here, Matt Nature, uh, I expect him to lose. Either way, I am looking forward to this card. Like I said, top and bottom, this is a pretty stacked card.
What are your thoughts on the card? Are you anxious for it? Do you think it is on paper the best free MMA card we've ever seen? And uh, which fights are you looking forward to? And who do you see winning them and how? That's it for now. Um, links to Twitter and whatever else. And your fresh as always. Till next time. Oh, real quick. I talked about this card a lot more in depth on uh, this past weekend's Science Finds Radio Show. Link to the information or link to that in the information part of the video as well. But uh, until next time, I'm out.